Come here. Come here. Oh, uh, hey, uh, did you know that the first guy to play Dracula was named Bella? No way. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, I was thinking of changing my name from uh, Bill to Bella. <laughs> Need that on letterhead with my electronic signature, if you wouldn't mind, there, Brad. It's uh, it's Bill. Dracula, huh? Old school. <laughs> Pretty scary stuff. <laughs> Good chat, Briggs. It's Bill. Talented, deeply and truly talented. Thank you. Hey. I was thinking we could both go dressed as Belle. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sexy Belle. It'd be so hilarious. And can you imagine if one of the guys around here came dressed as Edgar? Oh, he's so sexy. Those sparkles. Are you afraid? No. You're beautiful. Beautiful? I'm a killer. I don't care. I've killed people. It doesn't matter. I want to kill you. I trust you. No. Call me old school, but I just dig this style way more. It's deeper. Classic movie monsters are just way more resonant, especially compared to these sparkly face punks. <laughs> hey, Brad, love the digs. Who are you supposed to be, a Backstreet Boy? <laughs> oh, no, I've got it. You're Vampire Beeves. <laughs> you even got the hair down, sort of. <laughs> High five.
Please. <laughs> your costume. Thank you. I'm not too familiar with the film. Never much of a horror buff. I'm more of a romance girl myself, but it looks very authentic. It's a near exact replica. How long did it take? To get all the pieces just right? Four years. Mine took three. The cigarette holder took an especially long time. And the tiara, of course. It's always the accessories. Yeah, those details. The details that others forget. Exactly. Do you want to get out of here? Maybe grab some dinner? I've already had a bite. What about breakfast? Isn't this lovely? Lovely? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 